Good morning, everybody. Let's see here. Um, we better get started. We've got a few stock picks, a little more than normal here. Uh, OCZ. Um, OCZ had a nice, uh, nice pop yesterday, up over the 34, the 50, and the 20-day moving average. Uh, this looks like it might have a clear ride uh, up into this area, possibly the 200-day simple. So uh, those that are in this, I would continue to hold this. Uh, we had some down here, and then we we uh, added to it yesterday on this pop. Um, coming from this uh, hammer gap up, like I say, it looks like a clear ride up to about 640, and then uh, possibly the 200. And then, of course, you know, it doesn't mean it stops right here. It can certainly move higher, but We'll, we'll climb one branch at a time. Um, SPXU got a little mixture, some shorts, uh, longs, and a couple inverse on the list today. Uh, SPXU formed a bullish engulf yesterday. We need to see positive trading with a close above the T-line today. That's what I would like to see. If we see positive trading and it closes... Um, on an inside day, I'll still like it, not quite as much. I'll have to kind of look at the market and see how the market is doing. Uh, if it's if the market looks like it's bottoming and starting to move back up, then uh, I'll look to close my position on this. Uh, but over the T-line is what I would like to see, and then from there we can see what happens uh, maybe up toward that 34, uh, maybe to the 20. Let's, we'll go to the 21st uh, and see what happens there. Um, MR... G E. Supposed to hit the right letters. There we go. M R G E. We're coming from this little bullish Hiromi right here. Moved up a little bit, a slight little pullback, and then it found some strength yesterday on a market that was a little bit on the weak side. Um, for the most part, back here, it's acted very good. Pulled back, and then it gapped. And now it's pulled back to the 50, found support. This is what I really like about it. And now we need to see it move up. First target will be up into these tops. After that, we'll look for that 200-day simple moving average. Here's another inverse, VIX, VXX. Bought a little this one yesterday. We're kind of playing with a double bottom right here and a bullish engulf. Um, we watched this early in the room uh, yesterday morning go from a little tiny candle to grow up to something that uh, probably needs a little attention paid. Uh, once again, I need to see that close over the T-line, and if it does, I'm very likely to hold this overnight again, uh, as I did last night. Yeah, it, it's 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 up a little. The, the trick is going to be the close. That that's that's where the trick is. You know, today at 2 p.m., uh, we have F, FOMC minutes come out. Uh, the whole market is going to hinge on that, I think, Tyler. Uh, so it may be pretty, uh, it, it might be a little crazy in the morning, then I think it's going to get a little slow, and then it'll start heating up around that 2, 2 p.m. Uh, time. So uh, it's all going to be about that, and then that'll kind of dictate where the market closes. Uh, AVL, AVL, beautiful chart. Uh, we, you know, we were talking about it down here, and silly me, I never, ever bought it. Uh, we were watching it, we talked about it, and now look at it. It just boom, 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 right up. Little consolidation, now moving up again. Still a good looking chart. The target is still the 200 day moving average. You just have to trade it based on your trading rules. Thank you very much, Steve. Appreciate that. Uh, PLCM. PLCM, there we go. Uh, PLCM. A very nice rounded bottom breakout breakout with a little consolidation and then yesterday ended up very nice. We're coming from a gap down hammer. The gap down knocked all the weak hands out. The hammer showed that the buyers stepped in with some with some uh, energy and then they proved it by this run that it's made. We're now up over the big three which was resistance, now support. Nice little chart pattern right here. Uh, this PLCM uh, is one to keep an eye on. Uh, MW, MW, it, it's up a little high. Um, 
a little high here. I'd sure like to see a pullback. I think it's a very nice chart, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little bit of a pullback, and then this might be very tradable. Now there are those that that certainly look at that as a you know you want to play that as a breakout, but I would like a little bit of I I you know I have to get a deal. If I go to a car lot, and uh, it's pretty unlikely I'm going to pay the sticker price, and I know they jack the sticker price up because now they're going to offer me a discount to make me feel good. Well, I want that feel good. I want to think. I want to think. Hey, I drove off the lot. You know, I got a good. Even though I might have got taken, even though I might have paid too much money at even at that price, I still want to know that I didn't pay the sticker price. Stock trading is very much the same way. Be careful not to pay the sticker price because the sticker price is above retail. We want to buy into the wholesale area, or at least what we think is wholesale area makes us feel better uh, so uh, beautiful chart I think there's lots of upside room here I just want a better buy on it uh, let's see CLF CLF we've got a short here CLF come up coming up failing the 34 uh, EMA um, looks like that trend is still headed to the downside uh, likely target uh, what I would what looks good right now is back down to that 36 area, maybe looking for that double bottom uh, uh, right in here. So, you know, a $4 trade, that that's not a bad trade uh, if it can make it down there. We certainly have the weakness right here. So on weakness, I would look at uh, trading this down. Uh, COH. COH is another one. If it can fall below the $54 range, I think it pushes itself down uh, somewhere between the 50 and the $48 range right in here, possibly looking for that double bottom to reverse back up. But in the meantime, this chart looks like it's headed back down. Uh, L-U-K-F, L-U-F-K, try that again, there we go. Uh, L-U-F-K, so far it looks like we have a little failure up here at the 34 EMA, I just can't get past it. We need to see that weakness and 50, 30, yeah. Uh, we need to see that weakness. If there's, if we ended up, if we end up seeing positive trading and a close over the 50 here, I would want, I would not want to be short this. But if it continues to show these sell signals and show that it cannot get through this area, it's likely to pull back a little bit, uh, back down into these uh, what 46, uh, 45, 46 area. Uh, PBY. I had it on the watch list for a long the other day. It could not get its get its strength up to get going through this uh, uh, consolidation area. This may want to pull back now and uh, uh, put in. It, it, it. If I was looking for this long, I would be waiting for it to pull back now, looking for a higher low. So while it makes while it makes that higher low. We can make a little bit of money on it um, to the downside. So, based on this candle pattern, we're failing these moving averages right here. Any kind of weakness, and I see pre-market, it's actually 942. It's actually up 942. So, uh, this this has to come back down through the 20 before I would want to short it here. Good morning, Duchess. Uh, hint. Uh, Hint possibly might be uh, failing the 34 after a nice rally to the upside. Uh, a move back below the T line or the 20 simples, what I would be looking at uh, back down uh, in uh, down this area would be a nice short uh, on this. When 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 the market uh, is um, moving today, you know one thing to be very careful of is is uh, uh, getting. Um, uh, stops taken out, or try, try not to microwave, my microwave. Try not to micromanage the market today. The fact is, it can trade all at once. It's not going to do anything serious until two o'clock or later. Um, it, it's going to mess around. It's going to think it knows. It's going to it's going to pick up rumors. And the truth of it is, until those minutes come out, um, all, it's all kind of noise. So trade accordingly. 
trade accordingly. Uh, MVIS is our featured stock pick for the day. Uh, MVIS is a rounded bottom breakout. You can see that rounded bottom breakout along with a J hook pattern. Uh, we have the J hook pattern breakout already. There's the J hook right there. We're looking for that J hook back to continue up uh, to the 200 day moving average and possibly further. Um, first target will be the 200 day moving average. Um, second target will be about three dollars and thirty cents up a little higher uh, right up in here and uh, let's see we want to buy on strength above to yesterday's high which is about 227 the uh, PBO buyers pullback opportunity we want to buy I put right in this area right here using this red line as a stop so we want to buy down to 227 and then we want to stop just slightly below that 220 uh, 213 area. So uh, let's see, 227 is the buy on the breakout, 213 is the buy in this area for the PBO buyers, and then that'll be our stop area. I'm using this red candle, that high in red candle, and that candle over there. That looks like reasonable support to me right there. Anything below that, it is very likely to start moving back down into that 3450 area, the 20 area down past the t-line so I think that's what we'll use as a stop and then that's where we'll uh, look to uh, buy the breakout or add to on this one right here uh, let's see uh, real quick uh, hey Charles miss you last couple days uh, let's see SRV and then we'll get going here uh, SRV this was on the watch list a couple days ago and it was on the watch list yesterday um, Today, I, uh, yesterday's candle, not surprising at all that it's uh, hitting the 20 and trying to create a little consolidation here. I still think it's a very nice chart. Um, we could see a little bit of a pullback, but the chart is still in play. I don't think we have a sell signal here yet, certainly not until it closes back below the T-line. I still see the 34 as the target and possibly higher, but... It, it you know it's just unlikely that we're going to go just step up one two three four five six seven days straight up we're going to move up we're going to find resistance we're going to consolidate a little bit and then we're going to move up a little bit more still a nice chart i think very nice okay we'll see everybody in the uh trading room in about three minutes be right back